Hi there, today's video we're going to look at collecting data. A uh, common question in GCSE exams uh, asks you to design a data collection sheet to um, help out with some experiment or survey or uh, something like that. Um, and the most common answer to give is to use what's called a tally chart. Now a tally chart is a really effective and simple way to collect data. Very efficient, very simple and useful. So suppose I want to work out how many vowels appeared in the sentence above, I can use a tally chart. So I've set it up like this, we've got the vowels in this column here, tally and then a frequency, so how often it appears. So all I'm going to do is have a read through the sentence and tally up every time I see the letter A. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So the letter A appears eight times. Letter E, again, we'd work our way through the sentence, ticking them off as we go. One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five etc etc so right the way through the um through the sentence a few times tallying up how many times each one appears and when you're finished you should have something like this now suppose um we have the tally chart we can actually pick off a few things straight away i can see immediately that the mode is a so the most common vowel to appear most frequent is a because it has the highest frequency and i can also see quite clearly that the total number of vowels in the sentence in the sentence is 17. i got that simply by adding up all the frequencies so just a couple of things you could be asked to do with a tally chart right that's all there is to it so uh, time for you guys to have a go so pause the video and if you've printed off the sheets try and fill out these two tally charts Okay, hopefully you've managed to do that. Uh, here's the solutions. So you can mark off your work, see how you did. And uh, that's it from me. So short video today. Um, best of luck with the revision and I'll talk to you again sometime.